morning Aquarius welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles my name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video we're going to take a look at a no contact situation between you and someone that you're currently not talking to this is a general love reading and if it resonates with you feel free to show some love towards the channel this reading can be good for Sun Moon Venus and rising Aquarian placements to the cross watchers checking in on an Aquarius take the messages as they best resonate for you if you feel that your reading isn't here today you can check out your other placements otherwise please feel free to tune back in at a later stage when I upload a new reading for your sign I hope you've been fabulous Aquarius I do want to apologize for the sore throat I went out last night <laughs> and I celebrated a friend's birthday yes <laughs> and it was a good night as you can tell <laughs> I have a warm cup of oval teeny beside me and it's quite soothing for the throat so <laughs> let's begin your reading Aquarius we're going to take a look at how this person that you're in no contact with is currently feeling towards you let's begin Spirit, how does this person currently feel towards the sign of Aquarius? First card is the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. How does this person feel towards the sign of Aquarius? And the World card is here. Okay, at the bottom of the deck we have the Three of Pentacles. You could be connecting to a an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn we have fixed energy here also which is Scorpio Aquarius Taurus and Leo on the table <clears throat> how does this person feel towards you well with the three of Pentacles here um, this person is feeling like they are feeling at a distance from you but they are thinking about like contacting you soon okay they're thinking about making plans to reach out to you or contact you perhaps to see if you guys can work things out to see if you can come to some kind of a resolve or see if you can yeah mend this fix this sort this out yeah mm. because with the world card here this person doesn't it's like right now you're in a no contact situation but they kind of want to wrap this up it feels like this person doesn't want to be in a no contact situation it makes me feel like this person does want to be talking to you mm. so I'm going to do a little bit of clarifying here now with the Knight of Pentacles I feel like this person is is like taking their time they're they're making plans here okay they're preparing to make plans here to reach out to you to contact you to to break the ice uh, to break this no contact rule mm. I don't know it's something like this and it's it's to see if you guys can work this situation out okay <clears throat> I want to take a look at this world card tell me more about the world card why is the world card here tell me more why is the world card here the king of cups I feel like with the king of cups here this person still has a lot of love or still has strong feelings towards you I feel like with the five of swords yeah and the king of wands here I feel like pride and ego sort of with the king of wands let me just show you the cards 
It makes me feel like this person, like the distance, the no communication, the contact has made this person um, realize that it was their ego. Um, and it's like their ego here has dissolved. Okay. Mm. And it's like they are operating from their heart now or they're operating from a place of love. Yes. It makes me feel like with the Five of Swords that this person is like losing out. You know, they're missing you. There's someone here that's kind of like looking at the situation and they feel like they're missing you and that this fight or this argument, this fallout, it, it wasn't worth it. Does that make sense, Aquarius? It just wasn't worth it. And now they're ready to fix it. <clears throat> mm. And honestly, with this King of Wands, it just makes me feel like they operated from a place of ego at the time. Maybe they said things and they did things, that their behavior or their attitude towards you was to, con to like have control over the situation. But this control over the situation has made them realize that it wasn't worth it. Yeah, that's the best way I can describe it because this distance that they're feeling between the both of you, they don't want that distance. They don't want the emotional distance. They don't like this physical distance because this person still has a lot of love for you. Like I see that they still care about you. Mm. Yeah, pride and ego is a funny thing, guys. It's a funny thing. Mm. But I'm, I'm seeing their pride and ego dissolving here. All right, so what does this person want? What does this person want with Aquarius? What does this person want with Aquarius? Spirit, what does this person want with Aquarius? Tell us more. Okay, the Seven of Swords, the Emperor, and the Chariot. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords. <clears throat> okay. So with the Emperor here, uh, we have Aries energy, we have Cancerian energy with the char Chariot, and with the King of Swords, we have Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Underneath the Eight of Wands, I feel like definitely here with the King of Swords, this person wants to go from like a, a no contact situation. The King of Swords makes me feel like there's, there's isolation or distance to like contact, communication. Okay, so what they want is they, they desperately want to talk to you. They want to... Um, converse with you they want to tell you something here okay they're desperate to come towards you with the chariot and and make things right here with you mm. yeah with the Emperor I feel like this person um, what they want is to What they want is to really just show you that they are the bigger person, that they are the better person in this situation. Um, not the better person, but you know what I mean. Like that they are a mature person and that they can admit in this situation that they that they were maybe in the wrong here with the Seven of Swords. 
okay, um, that they did things that were cowardly in, in a roundabout way. Um, mm. So I feel like that's that's what they what that's what they want. Okay, they want to tell you all of this. They want to show you with their actions that they really do want to make the situation better than what it currently is. Okay, the emperor is someone who is coming towards you correct, Aquarius. Okay, and with the chariot next to the emperor, this is someone who really wants to get the situation back on track. They want to get the situation back on track. And the only way they can do this is through communication. Any good relationship takes communication to happen. So this is what this person wants. Mm. I, I want to take a closer look at this emperor. Tell me more about the emperor. Mm. Tell me more about the emperor. Yeah, the Queen of Swords is here, so it's clarifying the Emperor. This is someone who wants to clear the air here with you. This is someone who feels like they need to get something off of their chest. And I feel like it is stemming from that Seven of Swords, you know. Um, it's something that they did in the past, something that they said, something that they did, or something that they didn't do that they should have done. They want to clear the air. They want to be direct with you. They want to be honest with you. Uh, about it they want to they want to be transparent with you okay tell me more about this emperor the nine of pentacles yeah there's the seven of swords twice guys okay hmm Mm. Um, <clears throat> I am picking up like the, I'm, I'm hearing the word confidence so um, oh I see I see I see spirit so what this person is telling me here or what this person is showing me is that they weren't confident in the past so at the time when there was this fallout they weren't operating from a place of confidence they were operating from a place of ego um, I'm not sure if I'm conveying this correctly yes Mm, they were being very cowardly here with the Seven of Swords. Yes, and they may have um, they may have done some blame shifting. I don't know if that resonates for you, uh, Aquarius, but I'm I'm hearing that this person may have blame shifted. So instead of acknowledging that they did the wrong thing. Uh, they may have accused you but I'm seeing here that this person wants to take full accountability and responsibility for something that they said or something that they did that they didn't do in the past they accused you of doing it instead or something like that does that make sense okay so that's their intentions what will this person do what action will this person take, if any? What action will this person take, if any? So it's almost like this person is confidently admitting their mistakes here. 
confidently admitting that they messed up, okay? So there's almost like a confession there. All right, what will this person do? What will this person do? What action will this person take if, if they take any action towards the sign of Aquarius? The star card, Aquarius energy, the hermit card, and the page of swords, hmm. and the fool at the bottom of the deck. So we have Virgo on the table, Aquarius. We have strong air energy here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Aries energy here. Okay, these, we have three major arcana cards here. Let me just take a look at this. Hmm. What's really interesting here is The Fool in this card, the Fool sometimes talks about taking a leap of faith, you know, kind of just like taking a risk, taking a chance. What I'm seeing with these three cards on the table, especially with the Page of Swords, the Page of Swords is a messenger and she is walking on a tightrope. The energy that I'm picking up here is that this person wants to approach you, okay, with the intentions of healing, with the intentions of restoring perhaps the connection, um, with the intentions of restoring and renewing the relationship. The Hermit card is here, so I'm feeling like this person wants to come out of isolation or wants to come out of this no contact situation. Mm. So I'm feeling like this is what this person will do. I'm feeling like after, I'm feeling like after much thought here with the Hermit card, because I'm seeing this person in thought. Okay, so they're analyzing this, they're thinking about this. We opened up the reading where this person is in thinking mode. And I feel like their actions towards you will be, it, it'll be, what's the word that I'm looking for, Aquarius? It won't, their actions towards you won't be foolhardy. Mm. It, it'll be well thought out. What's underneath the fool? Yeah, you know what I really love about the Ten of Swords in this particular deck is the fact that it's a, the imagery in this card is leaning more towards light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> That's what I really love about the card. And then it's leaning into, or it's walking towards the full, which is starting fresh, starting over, you know, a brand new day. So I feel like, again, the action that this person will take towards you is sort of more leaning towards, you know, let's, let's start fresh. Leaving, leaving the past in the past kind of kind of thing mm. yeah making sort of peace with the past let's take a look at this star card tell me more about the star card why is the star card here yeah look at this the Three of Pentacles, guys, clarifying the star card. So, as a standalone card, this person, 
their actions towards you is to restore and rebuild what you guys have in the hopes that you are going to want to do this as well. Okay, so they're, they're hoping and praying that you are going to want to work on, on things with them as well, that you're going to want to talk it out, that you're going to want to collaborate with them and, and see if, you know, there's still potential for the both of you to fix this. the Queen of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, I don't feel like this, per the Queen of Wands, she means business and so does the King of Pentacles, you know. Um, I like that there's a King and a Queen here because to me it feels legit. It feels serious, you know. Um, this is someone who is committed to their word. When they say they want to fix this, they want to fix this. This is someone with the Queen of Wands who is, who is feeling hopeful about restoring the relationship. You know, the Queen of Wands, she's optimistic, she's hopeful. She's also partly influential. You know, she has this ability to inspire and influence those around her to listen to her ideas, listen to her suggestions. So I feel like maybe this person will come to you with this kind of energy. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. All right, so let's take a look at last parting messages, advice or guidance for you, Aquarius. For those of you who feel like you should need this. Last parting message, advice or guidance for Aquarius spirit. Last parting message, advice or guidance. What do we have here for our Aquarian babies? Last parting message, advice or guidance. Okay, I'm going to pluck one from. Wow, the Ten of Pentacles is here. Look, I really like this because this shows me here that there is so much potential for you and this person to work things out if, if you feel like you can still see yourself having a relationship and a future with this person. Because ultimately with the Ten of Pentacles, this is about, you know, your future stability. You know, zooming out, do you feel like, you know, you can see yourself ha having a solid and stable future with this person? And if so, then the answer is yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is a yes. This is a card of success. This is a card saying, look, it, it might not happen overnight, but there is so much potential in, in this situation, okay, um, for you and this person to really work things out. It looks solid. Um, mm, it looks solid, guys. It really does. So I'm going to leave that there. Hopefully that helped. Let me know your thoughts. Obviously, always just take what best resonates for you guys. And thank you for watching this video to the very end. I really do appreciate you, Aquarius. Uh, thank you for putting up with my raspy voice. <laughs> and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.